Okay, so this is the object I have selected to do my paint study. I don't have acrylic paints right now, so I'm going to simulate this exercise with um, watercolors. I'm going to try to use them in a similar way as you will use the acrylics. So this is the object um, I'm going to paint. Two examples, two backgrounds. What I'm going to try to do is to do a black and white tonal painting of my pot. I'm going to look at the light and shadow and I'm going to do it twice, one on each background. And then I'm going to appreciate and compare um, what happens to the black and white tones and how it vibrates through the background color. When you're painting um, the first stages of the painting, unlike with drawing, um, you can work on several parts of your object at the same time. You can cover over and over again a section of your object. So the first thing you want to do when you're trying this is to capture light and shadow where it actually is. So So this is a, a method, a process, a way of doing things. There are many others. We're going to start with this one, and then we can move on to others. Okay. So now you can appreciate the difference, the different appearance of the two objects. The more layers you apply to a painting that you begin like this, the less imposing the background is. Uh, it can become almost invisible. The color from underneath can become almost invisible. 